what is up youtube trade mode james let's talk amc guys all right let's talk amc we talk microvision a lot let's do a recorded video for amc so guys if you didn't know this i did have a position in amc back in february i liquidated that position i got tired of waiting and you know what i just had other other things i wanted to put my money in other plays that did nicely for me and uh here we are back in amc i reopened a position up here around 13 uh, i took the risk i know anything above this 12 28 or 12 30 is going to be a risky trade it just really really is and i was willing to take the risk guys all right and and uh, we had this nice, nice run up. We got this uh, setup forming up here, right? This is a ascending wedge, all right? A lot of times in these markets, this is a bearish setup, right? This is a bearish setup. We have this uh, broken level of support and resistance right here. Come up and we're just kind of consolidating within this wedge, all right? We reach the apex at some point and a lot of the times, more times than not, with this particular setup, you will see a break to the bottom side, all right? You just will. Uh, not only that, but we did have this 50 SMA kind of curve and we broke below the 50 SMA, came down and touched this level, uh, this supply and demand zone right here. Uh, wick off, come back down for a double test and now we're making our way back up. This was all called out on the channel, guys. I, I, I pretty much told the team on Discord, hey guys, be careful uh, you know, with what you're doing with AMC. This thing is probably gonna break out to the bottom and retest this supply slash demand zone. How do I know this is a demand zone? Well, a demand zone is an area where the banks move the markets in their favor, all right? Uh, it's an area on the chart where uh, there is a blip in the matrix and all of a sudden price just shoots out. And that's exactly what happened here. We had a big jump up. Uh, we had a little blip in the matrix here and then price, boom, shot up very quickly with almost no resistance. Okay, that is a demand zone. And if I go back to the left, I guarantee you, you will see action in this in this area. All right, in this area. Uh, and I pretty much called this out uh, to the T, pretty much spot on. Uh, for the team and everybody that was watching the stream. All right, that we were going to break out of this wedge here, come down, test this uh, support and resistance area, the supply and demand zone, and maybe bounce uh, off of it or maybe come through it, but we would test it, and that's exactly what happened. Guys, AMC has a lot going on, all right? We own over 80% of the float. Uh, you know, there's a, there's there's so many synthetic shares out there right now that the, these 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 hedge funds are just going to have to buy back. It's just as simple as that. And for that reason is the is why I'm back in AMC because I have conviction that at some point they're going to have to rebuy these shares from the retail traders. We own over 80% of the float. They're going to have to do it. All right, at some point, who knows how long it's going to take? Who knows their bankroll? Who knows how deep they are in their positions? Maybe they're way up here in the 30s. Who knows how high they uh, their positions are or how long they've been doing this? But uh, it is going to happen at some point. All right, uh, AMC has a lot of people in it we got a lot of investors over 3 million investors just holding strong uh we got a, a nice tight-knit community on amc and i was out of the loop for a little bit and here i am back in it so we're going to be covering on this channel but just know that uh you know when you have a run-up like this it's inevitable it's it's same thing happened with dogecoin all right you get these setups like this be prepared for a break to the bottom side you just must because it's almost inevitable especially when you see uh you know the 50 sma kind of creeping like this it was just uh, a, a very very obvious thing for me and, and the only real level we can come down to is around the supply and demand zone and if you look in the past like i said <laughs> it's just so obvious look at this setup right here guys same thing happening over and over and over in these markets all right over and over and over all right these setups are very obvious when you find them and if you look here we have this wedge price shot up out of this demand zone consolidated in the wedge broke through retested came back up and actually fell through here all right but we did have a, a death cross right here so that's why the price went down we're in a different spot over here however we do have the same setup price shot through the demand zone consolidated broke out and now we're retesting off this demand zone with the golden cross here all right, we did not have a golden cross over here when we broke out. So this is a little bit different, uh, you know, but we need this 50 SMA to kind of creep back up like that. We do not want to see this 50 SMA keep pushing the price down and have this death cross happen over here somewhere and have price come back down to about this level right here, which would be around, you know, 10 or $11, 1050, 1070, 10, uh, you know, 11 bucks, something like that. Very vague, but you know, this is a level of, uh, you know, this is a key level down here as well. This level right here, somewhere around this you know 1060 ish area that would probably be where we would test if this did break this uh demand zone and that's just my opinion guys all right so i think in the future we're gonna have to you know in this in the coming week weeks we're gonna have to maintain a floor above 12 30 that is what we're gonna have to do that needs to become the new floor this 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 is an area that has been uh you know resistance in the past uh, and you guys can see this, right? You can see this with your own eyes. Let me pull this back. Whoops. Let me pull this back for you guys so you can see this. Um, this is an area where, you know, price, it, it tends to reverse pretty hard. Uh, boom. You got one there. Uh, you got to fall off here. You got to fall off here. 
Uh, so we have this isn't this is a key level. All right. So if we can make the floor 1230, then we can hold strong and, you know, possibly hold until the actual squeeze. Uh, it's going to happen at some point. I don't know how high it can go. Don't know if I'm necessarily on board with the 100K floor, but I do believe this thing could probably touch two, three, four, five thousand. If you look at the Volkswagen squeeze, that thing touched almost thirteen hundred dollars. All right. And it, we have a lot more. Uh, people in this stock than Volkswagen had, all right? It's a really different situation, but still, nonetheless, it can happen and we could easily see a thousand dollar squeeze for sure. 100% easily all right but a few things do have to happen number one we're gonna have to break that 1455 that 1455 up here is a must we're going to have to break and close above it we did break above it a few times up here but we did not close above it we never had a close on the hourly time frame above 1455 all right as high as we got on a close was oops it was right here uh <laughs> about 1435 all right so we're gonna have to have a we're gonna have to have a close above 1455 and that's gonna be somewhere about right here we're gonna need to close above that and you look to the left you see the action over here guys uh you see the action right there about that 1455 that's about as high as it got on that last run up right here 1455 so we're gonna have to break that level of structure in order for us to level up and uh you know continue this move to the upside uh otherwise if we break below this uh demand zone here we very well could come down and see that ten dollar to ten fifty range it's just uh, a very real possibility especially if people are uh you know selling off paper hands not holding strong through this the whole idea behind this stock and this movement is to hold no matter what all right and i don't know your financial situation i'm not a financial uh advisor Advisor. So please take what I say with a grain of salt, but know this, the whole idea behind this movement is just that we outhold the hedge funds positions. All right. At some point they will have to close and buy back all the shares they borrowed. That's just a fact. All right. Who knows how many shares are synthetic? I don't know all the details on that. And I don't think anybody really knows. We could speculate. There's probably a crap ton of them. All right. So when this, when this does happen, uh, it could really, really squeeze. All right. So the whole idea is to just hold, hold, hold. You have to hodl this thing. All right you got to have diamond hands otherwise you, you know you're not really part of the movement all right guys hold strong diamond hands guys amc could squeeze at any moment it could squeeze today could squeeze tomorrow could squeeze three four five six months from now even a year from now who knows we don't really know what the plans are of the hedge funds all right we just have to hold and wait for that pivotal moment where we do start the squeeze all right guys uh this this whole thing was called out on this channel so guys if you want to learn technical analysis you want to get on a winning team you want to get uh with people that are that are super active every single day uh talking crypto stocks forex all kinds of uh you know unique investments things like that get on the team it's so worth it guys it's a one-time 75 dollars pledge towards my channel gets you lifetime access to all my future content my private content diamond on discord it's totally worth it the community alone is worth it my friends if you like this video give me a thumbs up i tried to make it quick and to the point i want to make under 10 minute videos uh we're going to start doing these often i like recorded videos they're fun to make all right guys give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell to get notified when i go live or drop videos i do go live every single day at the bell 8 30 a.m we cover multiple stocks so if you want to watch that watch the live price action learn how i trade uh off supply and demand and learn these uh you know all these tools that i'm using to make these these awesome super nasty legit call outs uh almost to the t like i cannot even tell you how on point this call out was if you want to learn to do this subscribe to the channel and get on the discord guys all right that's it from now for this video guys the discord will be in the dis uh, description box below this video peace and love for mine guys trade mo james signing out